Hi, I'm Janelle Vetka, the education reporter for the Yakima Herald Republic and creator of The Growth Gap, our solutions-focused series on childcare in central Washington. This is the Faces of Childcare, where we connect with parents and childcare providers. Today we're meeting with Lorena Miranda, an in-home childcare provider based in Yakima, Washington, grandmother and mother. Lorena is also a representative for in-home childcare providers for the state's union. Lorena, thanks for meeting with us today. Um, for starters, will you tell us a little bit about how you became a child care provider? So, Natalia Medina, she's the one that introduced me to child care. Um, we've known each other for 25 years. And um, since she has her own child care center and, and she was doing in-home care, she's the one that introduced me to all of this. And she also introduced me to um, SEIU. That's how I started becoming a child care provider. Um, having other child care providers helping out, um, like the mentorship program that we have right now, that was awesome. That's, that's the thing that, that helped me um, with all the licensing process. So kind of having that network of people that you can ask questions yes. to and get help to figure things out. Yes. And now you're one of those mentors yes. and, and also an advocate for a lot of your colleagues, right? Yes. Neat. Okay. And tell us about one challenge that you faced in providing child care and also how you overcame it. To me, what was more and more um, complicated to give up was my family. Um, like, after getting licensed as a child care provider, you cannot have visitors, you can't have friends coming over, you can't have family members coming over and unless they are approved by state or they have to have background checks and all of that. So that was one of the main things that, that um, held me back at the beginning, like thinking I'm not going to have the, the social life that I had before. That was, that was a big thing for me. Wow, I never knew that. That's really yes. interesting. That's a big I, sacrifice. That's one of the things that I, sometimes I still don't regret because I still do it, but um, my granddaughter Leilani, she used to live with me since she was born, and I have to give her up because of my child care. Wow. Yeah. That's a big sacrifice. Yes. Yeah. But she, sometimes she gets mad, but she understands. Yeah. Mm, some of my family don't understand that now we we have a business and um, it's not the same thing as it used to be. Like we used to get together for birthdays, for holidays. We can't do that no more. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. It, there's, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> And so tell us, um, as a provider, how do you integrate learning into kind of everyday um, experiences with the kids that you take care of? Since they're like newborn, since they're babies, we sit with them, we, we talk to them about colors, um, numbers, and um, shapes, sizes. Um, we try to, as, as we talk to them, we try to incorporate um, little things here and there so that when they're when they're growing up, they're growing up with a, with some of the knowledge that kindergarten should have. By the time they go to school, they already know like a little bit of colors, ABCs, things like that. Read a lot. Um, go through the walks. Be prepared before you go to the. Um, interviews to the state before you put in your application. Go through the walks, read through it completely, make sure that you're understanding what you're going to be, um, all the questions that they're going to ask you, all the requirements that they have, and if you're up to the challenge, go for it. Because mm -hmm. the challenge is not easy. It's, it's a long journey and it's not easy at all. Well, thank you, Lorena, for your insight. Um, and the, to those watching, thanks for joining the Growth Gaps, the Faces of Child Care. You can read more or sign up for our twice-monthly newsletter by visiting yakimaherald.com slash special underscore projects slash growth underscore gap. And all of the Growth Gap content is also available in Spanish. Thank you.